Welcome, world of YouTube, to Crayer and Terrible Sight. Step aside from the care of Terrible Sight to Crayer or Full Mirror for Terrible Sight. <laughs> We're going deep into the origins of uh, Groton, Connecticut. Uh, there's been a, I've been going through my Google Photos and, of course, some screenshots that I saved on other phones or whatnot been placed back so far I can't even friggin' remember. I forgot about this one. But as you can see, a cave hole in one of the weirdest places in America, dating back nearly 2000 before Christ. Ancient site as an unknown origins. Likely utilized by many groups over time. This is a ton of stuff to discover here. Arrowheads and pottery. Fragments are just the beginning. There are a number of stone chambers, walls, and circles. Uh, there's also a rock ledge known as the Cliff of Tears, where visitors report feeling overwhelming sensations of sadness. And um, that being said, and being in Connecticut, strong, strong history of... Um, Native Americans, I'm surprised they are not comparing this to Mystery Rock up in New Hampshire. I do have a book, and I do believe I did a video of that, of the book I was given from my father. And uh, he literally brought some Native American artifacts there, and go figure for some apparent reason, the free pass he got, he said he seen he had, he was going to give it to me, ended up disappearing, so that was nice. But anyways, um, he had a life pass to that place, and I tried getting it from him because I wanted to bring my kids up there and do my own little searching of my own, but to hear about these rock um, taverns or caverns, in caves or whatnot. I mean, don't get me wrong, some Native Americans, I don't know, I believe did not. They had superstitious of going in the caves like that, but who knows? You know, when you're in a serious situation or let alone being in a um, attack, yeah, that wouldn't be the smartest place to go, but you never know. But if it's dated back that long and um, who knows once, you know, lived in there, I mean, that would be a good place to, you know, live during the summer. Cool you right off. Well, my brother, one of the Native Americans lived down there because it was cooler in the ground. But, and, and Natives have been around just as long as you know, practically, maybe right after the caveman era. Who knows, cavemen could even have made these holes too, but arrowheads, like I said in the article, like it says, have been found, so that means Native Americans did. I mean, you know, they could even have trapped animals in there, you know, to kill, to eat, and hunt. It's always something that a hole could be used for. Of course, that was a uh, watching the Beastmaster last night. It's finally free on YouTube. And um, I'm gonna do a whole era on that. Well, a whole subject on that because between the years 1982 and 83, oh man, I don't know what it was with them movies, man, but I don't know, maybe I came from that time reincarnated, but I have an infatuation with them types of movies. Because it's like living off the earth, living off the land. And then again, it could be my Native American blood in me. And, you know, just seeing them types of movies like Conan the Barbarian, Arnold Schwarzenegger, stuff like The Road Warrior too, and um, Mel Gibson. That whole era of time, I don't know if it was just because I was in, you know, that state of mind of a bad place because my parents split up and all of a sudden I, um, 
you know, was <clears throat> just looking for an adventure to go by, say so. And that was probably them other times that them movies took me out of this world, of the new world, which kind of sucked. But I'm going to go on a whole trip back in time of them two years. But I mean, not only that, I mean, it, it was also in a place that, of course, my mother came from. It was Corning, New York. Corning Glassware I lived not too far from. My mother was born and raised there. My um, great-grandfather, my grandfather, all born and buried there. So I'm a, I got a strong feeling I do got some of the uh, native blood throughout that time. Which Indians it is, that still I need to find out. But for some reason, man, when I did get to that town, even though the surroundings around me were, um, you know, difficult to deal with, but new people, people I've probably known for years, or let alone, you know, passed by him a couple times here and there during a visit. I mean, yeah, I was just in a bad place, bad time, but that town, and when HBO came on and started playing these types of movies, even Southern Comfort came out in 81, and it was playing all the time, but them survival movies, I don't know, man, I love them. It's just, it feels so natural. And living in that town, it felt, it felt comfortable. Corning, New York, I just felt like I, I was there all my life. I could have been in another life. But with that being said, you know, things like that, that run through my mind. And these things I've held on so long in my life, thoughts of, wow, why do I feel like this? Why do I see this? Why is this happening? Why is that happening? It leads me to write, bring up these videos. And I, I guess I'm at the place where I need to be. Tell them tales. Because I'll tell you something, boy. When I see stuff like this, and, um, you know, stuff that's been made in movies, it's all coming together. It's all, you know, it's just, it's really starting to come together. Yeah, and these things have probably been known for a long time, but right. Unknown who made it. Unknown this, unknown that, but whatever. That's not the point. The point is, is these things exist. And whatever is beneath us, and that's what I've been going on lately. A lot. What is beneath us. It ain't no more up in the sky. We already figured that out. But what's beneath us is what I want to know. Little man! Oh, bear with me a minute, I will be right back. God dang it, I thought I saw the squirrel we housed a few months back. <laughs> Got out. Living the squirrel life. That's what I used to call him. Little man! Do a call to him, he understood me. He used to jump from a cabinet to my arm like a friggin' tree. Every time I'd say that. <laughs> He did stop and look. But, nah, I gotta get over that, man. He's living a squirrel life. I miss that little guy. It's pretty neat housing a squirrel. Anyways, as I was saying, these things that come up like this, and I forgot all about this one. I'm gonna, <clears throat> I wanna take some. There was something else I was looking up to that came up. And not only did I uh, find out there's a big war in Norwich, Connecticut. I forgot all about the damn asylum out there I was supposed to visit. The Norwich Mental Hospital. Which I think some buildings still stand. And, um... I haven't covered this yet, but that is another place, just like them hundreds of birds I've seen swarming the friggin' buildings in the midtown during the day. 
And I've been meaning to get back out there, and I couldn't stop because um, it was kind of a, you know, on-time situation. I had no time to stop. Did take some pictures as, as I could, but the way the road was out there, too, there was nowhere to park. So I got to find literally a place to park out there and, and have the time to see where I can stop if them birds are still sitting there roosting because... Like I say, man, it was everything. Turkey vultures, friggin' hawks, ravens, and crows all nesting throughout the whole area. I couldn't believe that stuff. But, um, yeah, I've been looking through my photos and came across this and came across my Norwich State Hospital. <clears throat> which I want to get out there. I might, might try and do it either tomorrow or in a couple days if not I'll get there and that place was infested with Native Americans too Connecticut man swarm swamped natives but anyways with these caves and that being said it's just very very you know even that name guns gungi gungi womp Wamp, Gungi Wamp. I believe that's a Native American word. <clears throat> but it's nice to see stuff like this coming up, man, because these things that were made back in the day, to me, is very curious. Oh, Mystery Hill, sorry. I said Mystery Rock, Mystery Hill. And I'm surprised they didn't compare this with it. So that means whatever was built up in Mystery Hill with caves like this, and these types of taverns could have reached up and down the East Coast. Whether it was natives or hell, even Vikings. These things are very, very becoming common and people are finding this stuff a lot lately. So yeah, I want to check this out. <clears throat> Especially the, uh, the fall of the Wall of Tears. Cliff of Tears, yeah. <clears throat> I can imagine that might have been a suicide rock for natives. <clears throat> uh -huh. You know them native women when they didn't, when they got forced to do something that they didn't want to do. Back in them times, it was tough. And instead of obeying their elders, unfortunately, they took their lives. So, I have to go pay my respects to this place, and I guarantee there's a lot of native stuff there. Um, what else do I got? Ah, boy. I've been so damn busy, it ain't funny, and I've been trying to do things, get things done. I did do another video for my Escaping the Madman, which I'm getting close <clears throat> more ideas keep popping up my head for that but it's just getting the time to take the time to do it because I want this done right so far it's coming out great I think but if you start from the beginning and watch it in the um, you know the clips in the playlist it will come out when it's done, it's going to come out even better. You get to watch it. I just can't wait to do the uh, <clears throat> part that I made this little thing for. <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to reveal my project. But once again, folks, beware what's out there because you don't know what's beneath us. There's something else i seen. And I looked up, oh yeah, the, um, I gotta look this up again. The earthquake supposedly happened in Ashburnham, Templeton. Because I think that, and that just happened like last year. So I need to look a little more into that. Because once again, what's beneath us? And if there is something making new tunnels... 
Benice, huh? And um, there is a hill, or like a mountain type thing out there in Ashburnham, Mount Water Waterta. I did. Uh, my man, my man Dave from Vermont, told me that he got an eerie feeling on the right side of that hill. So I did go to the beginning of the path of that hill on the right side. And the way it looked, it was dark. Just like the the um, inn I was at the other day, or last week or whatever, a few days ago, the inn, how you walk in somewhere and you feel and see the darkness. That's what I felt on the right, right side of that hill is right. So if I can get up there without paying no money and get no damn ticks on me, I'm gonna try to get up there because Something's out there, folks, and I think something leads to all of these underground caves and mountains. Mountains could be a damn base for all you know underneath that. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some type of hiding place. Gives you something to think about, doesn't it? Till that next video. Out.